Wait, can you do vibe coding with C Sharp in Visual Studio? I mean, it's kind of obvious what I'm talking about, right? So what happened is that we have agent mode now for Copilot. So you folks may already use Copilot on Visual Studio, but we have dates on changes now. And we have agent mode now ready you to use anywhere with Visual Studio and especially .NET. Now .NET has full support, multiple models that we can show and an amazing code experience that you can easily do amazing things with agent mode. Now we're going to have an amazing demo as well. So you can actually go and use anything you may use with Visual Studio and see how can you break a task and how we implement that with agent mode. Let's take a look. Okay, so first let's see our homepage at GitHub Copilot. So here we have your homepage. So let's our first start if you don't have Linux account on GitHub. You can see we both get started for free, but let's see what can you have a free plan. So here you go, I up a new tab for new plan, and you can see that they're gonna show you what we have there. So what we have there is basically some agent mode completions, some 2,000 completions a month, and a lot of access to a bunch of models like GPT 3.1 and some cloud models as well, which is incredible and all for free. So folks, let's create a new project. You can see that we here have a Blazor web app, right? So we can actually go and select this and you can do it pretty easily. Let me select that. So we give it a name. So the name we're gonna give this is, v I thought a little bit about it. So let's give a Visual Studio blog. So now we have your framework. Let this be the same, include the simple pages so it can have something to inspire with. And now let's create our amazing project. There you go. Our project is created and you can see that we have multiple things on ask for. So let's take a look and run our project to show you that it actually works. Here you go. It is deploying and you can absolutely look on how beautiful it is. So basically this is our blog, it has our counter. Now it works nicely and has the weather. Okay, looks good. So let's go back to our Visual Studio and start doing some co-piloting. You can open Copilot on top right and then select the models. I here select Sone. So let's start with our first prompt. Our first prompt will be very simple. I'm asking, hey agent, I want to do a blog and I'm asking how I handled. So I'm here to do two mock posts with like our model, which is like a UI, a title, a slug, etc. Show a post as we go. The no backend, just static data. So then it starts and then it starts generating. On the comment that I may I might add is that you can see how it generates. So it's checking for errors in our Razor components. It's trying to generate them and it shows even the minus and pluses. These are like things we are changing in order to our file and you can click to take a look how they change and you can see how they work. But you can see right now I'm generating my CSS. One thing that you may notice is that it likes to read these errors, right? So what it does is that it generates a file and then reads if it has like some kind of error that it can might have. So what it's trying to do is it is trying to fix everything on our, you know, in amazing um, Visual Studio to be, you know, syntax correct and make everything to work. Then we're going to build. And if the build is successful, we have an amazing layout. Then it tells us what it did, and then we can start and then deploy. And no, let's run it. As you can see, now I have my blog posts and I have tons of things. So here I have my get started with Blazor, what's in dot that nine. You know, it looks incredible. But what is our problem here? Is that you can see that you no, know, we can just improve this, right? So I can share about a blog or technologies that got used, but still, um, it's not that easy. So. I want to improve this, right? I want to improve this, go back. So let me go back to Visual Studio and then let's do a improvement. So let me ask, um, can you format the menu and the back button? So now I'm asking how to improve both the nav menu so it can be better and fits more or more. Is a studio style, then the back button that you can have a question mark there so we need to fix it. Ta-da, it is ready. Congrats to us. So now we have our back button implemented. We have tons of things implemented and we can get started. So let's go and run our new code and see what it improved from our front end before. Wow, that's so amazing, isn't it, guys? So you can actually look 
we have now getting started with Blazor. It looks, um, the button looks nice. You can see they change our name and now is everything up to date. And you know, the buttons have some nice, no, you can see there's a little bit of no movement there, which is pretty cool. Now let's go do some data. So now I'm going to do add some blog posts and add some, you know, backend because it's very cool that they can do that. But now I want to implement our backend to see if everything works out. So you can see here that we are doing here um, some improvements. So I'm asking to do add blog something to add blog posts. So basically a backend and create an interface. And then you're going to have an in-memory with a dictionary, which you're going to use a singleton and then it can add as we go. As well, I'm creating a get, both for getting both the post and this log and a post to create our blog posts and then write some tests and add swagger so you can actually use it. So as we go here, and it goes and say, hey, I want to do some data. Now it will generate our backend and add multiple things. You may notice that it asks to use commands. If it does ask you to add commands, just click allow. But in this case, I already allowed everything, so it just runs. You can see that it can add like write commands like .NET X uh, new unit Shunix in this case. Don't worry about it. This is common and this happens with an uh, usual um, no other typing. But here is the agent doing for you, which is pretty cool. He is adding as well the package. He is adding Swashbuckle for our Swagger. So you can actually take a look on everything that our API is doing there. Then it's running our tasks that it generated, which is incredible, right? It can generate tasks. That's amazing. Then it goes, core compiles, runs the tests for you, and then boom, you have everything you need. So now we can get started. And sometimes what we'll try to do is run those curl commands. So this is a functionality that is being implemented as far as we know. But, you know, we are taking a look on how we go there. So here you can see Swagger, right? Have our normal thing, but let's go to see Swagger. So if we go to Swagger here, right, we have Swagger here. So then we can run anything we need. So let's start with, you know, see if we can get our posts. And then let's do a post. So here I'm changing both the ID to make it make sense, my title, my slug, and my content. Then let's execute. We have 201. We're good. And now let's see if we can get. So let's go to our API and get the post. Hooray! You can see my post is already there. And if I go to my blog post, so now let's me test something. So let's me test my slug. So here I have this slug, which is great. So let's get like what's new dot net nine, and boom, you can see that we can easily get oros dot net nine just by entering this slug. So you can even see that in my blog post. Let's go to my blog. You can see, ta-da! This is my amazing blog on Visual Studio. That's it, folks. You can see how powerful Copilot is and how much it can do, which is incredible for everyone. We are so excited for you to use Copilot on VS. Now, you saw what can you do with agent mode. We actually did first that UI, you know, had on our amazing blog there. And then in the end, a full backend. You can add, you can update. That's incredible. So what more can we do with agent mode and Visual Studio? Let us know in the comments. Thank you so much for being, you know, part of this video. Any questions, ask us and let us know to do more things with Visual Studio and GitHub Copilot. Mm -hmm.